Hey, Nancy Cross with eXp. 2022 was certainly a roller coaster ride for real estate. So let's recap last year. First quarter of 2022, homes were flying off the market. Multiple offers and homes selling for $100,000 or more over list price. Did you attend an open house where the line of buyers was out the door and down the street? That was absolute craziness. May is when the Fed started raising interest rates and we also started seeing prices come down. Sales started slowing in the second quarter as we saw more price reductions on what few homes were on the market. By the end of the summer, interest rates were hitting seven plus percent, scaring the buyers in the market and the sellers were then saying, where do I go? I can't afford my own house. Q4 saw continued shortage of homes for sale and builders were backing off new construction starts and also offering incentives. Although we did see mortgage interest rates easing back into the 6% range as inflation started to ease. Overall, my 2022 predictions were on target, although they certainly took a kind of roundabout way to get there. So what do I see for 2023? As in inflation eases, so will the mortgage rates. The Fed's expected to announce a few more quarter percent increases this year. Don't panic, it's already factored into the mortgage rates. I believe we'll see interest rates by the end of 2023 back into the mid 5% range. So keep this in perspective. The mortgage rate average over the past 30 years is 7.5%, 7.5%, and we're well below that now. Housing inventory is still tight, although we're coming into the peak selling season starting in March. And inventory has doubled from December of 2021 to December of 2022 in Tampa Bay. That's great news for buyers. That means there's more room for negotiation with fewer buyers in the market due to the higher interest rates. And that means more selection for buyers as well. Now's the time for buyers to find their home because as the lower interest rates come back, so will more buyers because more people qualify. I believe the end of 2023 will see a stronger real estate market here in Tampa Bay. Home values are still at an all time high. Home prices are up 10% year over year in Hillsborough County and 20% year over year in Pasco County. I believe we'll still see strong growth in home values of the five to 8% range in 2023. So here's three pieces of information to stay sane this year in this market. Number one is do not listen to the media. They love to scare you and they pick the worst of the worst stories. Number two, don't expect the market to crash. There's too many factors in this area in the housing market to keep prices from tumbling again. This isn't 2008. Number three, don't rely on your estimate. Zillow relied on their estimates for purchasing homes for the iBuyer program. And look what happened. Their iBuyer program went bust in 2022. People still get married, divorced, have children, relocate for their job, lose their job, get a better job, and they retire. Real estate is hyper local. If you want realistic advice, ask a real estate professional. That's what I'm here for. Remember, for your real estate dreams, don't get antsy. Just call Nancy.